I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudla. I'm Jesper de Jong. I'm Henry Laksa. I am Francisco Segundolo. And you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Last year. Novak Djokovic has left Australia after losing his appeal against his visa cancellation. He knew the conditions since uh, a lot of months ago. I was just following the rules. I came in with all the valid papers. To the volley! Yeah. It's so good! He's done it! It's the miracle in Melbourne. Novak Djokovic has been granted a visa allowing him to play in next year's Australian Open. Fans who taunt Djokovic are on notice. Do so, and you'll be kicked out by security. Carlos Alcaraz is out of the Australian Open. I look at my ranking, it's giving me a lot of confidence, but on the other hand, I know that these are just the numbers. Anybody can win a grass one right now. Who is going to avoid Novak Djokovic? It's Daniel quarter. Medvedev's in the same quarter as Rafael Nadal. It doesn't get much worse, I'm sorry. Can Radu Kanu beat Coco Goff in a second round bet? Felix Ojeali Asim will win the Australian Open. The Iga Swiatek will win. Arena Sabalenka and Taylor Britt, yes. You heard it here first. Novak Djokovic is a clear winner for me. So my projected semi-finals for the women's Zeng against Pagula and Garcia against Samsonova. I see Novak Djokovic holding his 10th Australian Open trophy this year. I see Marie Sakari winning her first Grand Slam title at the Australian Open. The Nicholas Kyrgios steam train is powering his way through to an Australian Open title win. And he's taken out Novak Djokovic on his way. Hello, tennis fans. Welcome. It is Covey representing the Game to Love Tennis podcast. We got a live play-by-play -play commentary going on for you today, and it's a big one. The first quarterfinal on the top half of the men's draw, Karen, uh, Karen Hachanov versus Sebastian Korda of the United States. Um, pretty big matchup here. I'm really excited to see what you all think um, in terms of predictions. Right now, the win predictor on the screen says, 55% Korda, 45% Hachanov. So weather forecast, we got 28 degrees. We got showers. Uh, we've got wind, but you know what? It doesn't matter. We're in Rod Laver. The roof is closed. They closed it uh, very early, four games into the uh, ostapenko Rabakina match, which Rabakina won uh, in straight sets. That was a great one. Dave had the call there. Uh, we also are going to have the Pass match later. Um, so stick around for that. Not positive about the Pagula one, but I might just, uh, I'll see if I can find it. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's see. Hope you guys can hear me all right and everything. Uh, thank you for joining. Oh, BJ Fresh. What's up, BJ? Um, he says, where's Cub? So he came in here, what does it say? 744. Oh, okay, about 10 minutes ago. He's like, where's Cubby? I'm right here. 
uh, good to have you, BJ. Thank you for tuning in as always. Um, anyone tuning in, please give us a like, subscribe. Always helps the channel grow. Um, any support is positive, and we appreciate it. Um, let me know where you're where you're uh, where you're from. I'm in Vancouver, BC, um, and it is currently 7:55 p.m. So pretty good time. I just had a little bit of a subway, so my stomach's satiated. I don't need to eat. I got my iced tea right here. Uh, no, no alcoholic beverages today. I wanted to kind of, I've been having a couple too many, you know what I mean? Um, enjoying a little too much on the extremes. Uh, but hey, we got a comment here from Asiraf Nukman says, thank you live. You're very welcome. Thank you for joining us. As As Asiraf. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> we got ghost in the house. Pagula sucks. Don't bother finding it. Um, and he says, I've liked and I've subscribed. Thank you, Ghost. Ghost is uh, one of the all-stars in our chat, one of the GTL community, and um, always has some fun to say, got some spicy comments, got some, um, got some, yeah, always got something cool to say and get, gets the chat moving. I love it. Uh, who else we got? We have Sophia Chan. Uh, so Sorry, Sophia Chen, my apology, says, just started watching these streams recently, tuning in from Boston. Hey, welcome from Boston. Nice to have you, Sophia. Um, hey, Sophia, who are you uh, Who are you rooting for? Are you rooting for the American? I would probably kind of guess that, but you never know. Might be a fan of the, the Russian as well. But yeah, let us know. Um, so the players have, I mean, they're on court, obviously. Uh, it's, uh, you know, we usually start the streams when they hit the court. That way we don't have to have extended moments in uh before the match but let's see here just so it looks like play is about to start which means i'm going to ask you all for your prediction yes yes prediction so who you got who you got let me know in the comments um, I'm going to go ahead and say Sebastian Corda is going to take it in four sets. That's my prediction. Please let me know what you think. Uh, very anxious to know what the general public is feeling because Hachanov, I feel like he's at that point now where he's been winning so many big matches that you're going to start feeling foolish for not picking him. Although he does tend to struggle versus top 10 level opponents. Obviously Corda is not a top 10 level opponent, but he's kind of playing like it. He's, he took Novak to three uh, in Adelaide. It's the only loss he's had of the entire year. He beat uh, her catch. He beat, um, I'm forgetting the other one. And first serve is an ace for Karen Hachanov. Uh, good start there for the Russian. Okay, we got Ems is in the house. Says, hey, Kavi. Hey, Ems. G great to have you as always. Thank you for joining her serve uh, at love uh, 15 love is into the net ghost says i'm on the american west coast the coast with the most you got it baby best coast west coast no offense sophia uh over in boston um <laughs> we're just sitting, kidding around sophia says overall i like rude and rubla but gotta go for corda tonight yeah good some some pretty good players you got there um m saying uh karen in five all right we got ghost uh hachanov in four we got um, my man Ted with the most specific uh, predictions always. He says, uh, Corda 6 4 7 5 3 6 6 4 in two hours and 57 minutes. So, four setter there. Man, it's 40 love, by the way. Pretty, pretty nice. Oh, almost a game to love, though, but it actually was a let there. He would have had the ace. Uh, Hachanov looking very sharp. Um, 40 love real quick. And that's a game to love. We'll uh, come back to this man in one second. And let's do some game to love action. Great hold for Hachanov here. So man says, uh, Covey, still closed roof with rain and forecast for next hour or so. They closed roof on the first match due to shower. Still a risk until 5 p.m. local. Yeah, I was watching that match. I think it, it was a 1-3. Um, Ostapenko was down, and they had about half an hour break there. Um, so, yeah, thank you for the update. Really appreciate that. We got Charles Cross saying, Sebas! Uh, 
I think he's cheering for Sebastian. And says, hello, all. Corda for the win. Man says, starting at 7.57 Pacific time, very suitable. Yeah, absolutely. I get to, it won't be, I, I mean, it could, could make it to midnight if we have a five setter. And that's what uh, Rui Duarte de Andrade Adao says. Corda in five. That's his prediction. First serve is long from Corda. And we got BJ Fresh, 7-4. What's up, BJ? Uh, thanks for coming in early. Appreciate appreciate you, my friend. We also got Alexander Laurence, Viking hair. Yeah, I think you're talking about Seba there. Um, so far, Kachanov has scored all the points. There's been five, and he has all of them. Also has one ace. And, yeah, he had a great, very fast service game. Nicely done. All right, serve is in, forehand return, and Korda hits a forehand long. So it's love 30. So real quick, Hachanov on his toes and putting a little bit of pressure. We got our first pressure point of the mat. In case you're wondering exactly what a pressure point is, a pressure point is a point that leads to a set point or a break point. So... <clears throat> Of course, if uh, Hachanov wins, he would he would be up or he'd have the break point. So that's why this is a pressure point. Backhand return, Hachanov, and backhand Korda. Backhand Hachanov, forehand Korda is long. So he's not, he hasn't found his rhythm, hasn't found his groove. He's a guy who hits the ball very sweetly. He's a he's a smooth striker, is Korda, and you can tell he's a little bit off. So we got triple break point here for the Russian real quick. Korda still yet to re register a single point in the match. Seven for seven right now for Hachanov. First serve is long. Hachanov looks very, just like very comfortable. He doesn't look, um, yeah, he just, he looks like he's feeling himself right now. Oh, oh, on that backhand though, that goes into the net. So Korda finally breaks through, gets his first point of the match. Now 1540 and Hachanov still has a couple break point opportunities all right all right so we've got some people on the west coast we got some people on the east coast of north america anyone else europe anyone i guess europe what is it four in the morning there so that might be tough serve plus one inside out uh for corda there so he saves two now and it's 30 40 saves two break points yeah his plus one was just an inside-out forehand. Hachanov got a piece of it, but wasn't able to get it back in play. Korda deliberating. Which ball should I keep? Which one should I give back to the ball person? Makes his choice. First serve, balls up. And just a little bit long. I thought that was in. It was an out-wide serve, but it was. I guess it was a little long there. Second serve is good. That one looked long to me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and then Korda hits a forehand long. So, Hachanov with a quick quick break here. Hmm. There you go. So, uh, early nerves perhaps for Korda. The first, uh, first time for him on this stage uh, in Australia. So, I'll give you a quick rundown of the... Uh, the um, major results for both players. So Korda has made the quarterfinals here for the first time. That's this match right here. Uh, he's made the French Open fourth round once, 2020. He's made Wimbledon fourth round once, 2021. And US Open second round once, 2022. So those are his best results at each. And then we'll go over Hachanov in a second here um, as he quickly takes a 15 to love lead. Does the Russian... Yeah, Charles with an astute comment here saying Corda is super tight. Yeah, he def definitely does not look um he's not he's not in the groove just yet. Good call there, Charles. All right, second serve is good. I got backhand, backhand slice from Corda, backhand uh, Hachana, backhand slice Corda, backhand Hachana, forehand Corda, backhand Hachana into the net. So 15 all. What else? Oh, Peaches in the house. Hey, Cubby and GTL fam. Welcome, Peaches. Always great to have Peaches in the house. 
Um, we also got M's um, saying, great start, Karen. He's such a dark horse in slams. Yeah, yeah. I mean, pretty much until this slam, I always kind of was like, I don't think he's going to win, you know, against Kyrgios, for example, at US Open. I was like, no. But now I think he's done enough where if I keep saying that, it's on me for being incorrect because he is a player and he's a big time player, actually. Um, all right, we got inside out forehand Hachanov now, backhand slice Korda, backhand, no, uh, yeah, backhand Hachanov up the line, and that's long. So, a little bit of daylight now for Korda. It's now 1530. We got another pressure point. I love when the fam says what's up to each other. M's, hey, Peaches, Peaches, hey, M's. Love the love, gotta love the love. All right, I'm having a great time. Comfortable, I had my meal, I got my something to drink sitting in I, I stole my roommate's chair I don't know if you saw but I used to have a, a chair where I was kind of sitting upright the whole time and there's no rest, backrest now I got armrest backrest great serve out wide and an even better return uh but Hachano steps in and goes cross court backhand to, to, to make it 30 all it's a really really nice serve so serves it out wide and Korda with a slice backhand just barely made it over with a nice angle and then Hachanov steps in and goes back to that same spot where he served it. And there you all. There you have it. 30 all. All right. Hachanov, first serve is good. Block return is wide. So game point now for the Russian. 18th seed in the tournament. Korda is the 29th. Hachanov, here we go. Backhand in the AO. 48 winners for Hachanov. And Korda, 18. Wow. In the entire tournament. So the winner percentage rate, 5.5% is Hachanov and 1% for Korda. Uh, that means 1% of the shots that they take. That's, that's crazy. And a beautiful serve right up the line, up the tee there. So Hachanov is up um, a break and he has consolidated as well. <laughs> So three love here for Hachanov. What we got going on in the chat? Pretty chill. And how are we looking at for the the like count? Always love my like count. So as you all know, my like, well, as you may know, um, my goal, so ever since I started in November, I haven't hit 100 likes on a, on a solo stream, meaning we just be by myself. And so that's my goal. We're at 21 right now. And I... Today is the day that I'm truly, my intention is that it's going to happen. And the reason is because it's the best of three or best of five a set match. And I think that there'll be enough time for us to do it. Cross your fingers. Please help if you can. And give us a subscribe as well. And just uh, thank you all for joining. Always, always, always love having people to watch tennis with. Because I love tennis. You love tennis. Why not watch it together? All right, beautiful overcast sky in Melbourne. Man, Melbourne is a postcard, man, of a city. I ha I can't wait to go there. Can't wait to go there. Maria in the house saying, hi, this AO schedule is killing me. Yes, Maria, same here. Uh, the last two days, I, I just wasn't able to watch the late matches. They begin at like somewhere between 12.30 a.m. and 2 a.m. my time. I know for, I think you're in the UK, if I'm correct, and that means it's four in the morning. So thank you for joining us. You are a trooper. We got Charles in the house. This is great because tonight I can actually watch with you. Hey, great, Charles. Happy to have you, my man. All right, we got a backhand to backhand. Slice from Hachanov into the net. So quickly, 15 love for the server, Korda. And then let's quickly go over, I was going to say that uh, the results of the Grand Slam. So... Very impressive result list here in Grand Slams for Hachanov. Aussie quarterfinal, that's today. French Open quarterfinal, he did that in 2019. Wimbledon quarterfinal, 2021. And U.S. Open semifinal, that was last year. So he's made quarters, quarters or better at every single major. And honestly, uh, if you watched Covey's Corner, um, I mentioned that he actually... Is on a list with uh, Tsitsipas, Medvedev, Team, I think Rublev. That none of those players have done done what he's done. So he's quietly, kind of, um, yeah, he's he's quietly just going about his business and making these results um, that you wouldn't really think of. Okay, so fifteen all here. 
Corda, great serve up the tee, nice block back return, and then the plus one inside out for Corda. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Speaking of lemons, um, we're going to do some kit action here. So first of all, we have Hachanov rocking that turquoise blue Nike shorts, plain white tee with a black Nike swoosh, backwards white Nike hat. He's got two wristbands, both Nike, both white on his wrists, and he's rocking orange and white shoes. Very stylish kicks. He's looking good, I got to tell you. And a nice serve plus a uh, serve and volley, backhand volley winner for Korda here. Serves out wide. Hachanov goes up the middle. Korda beautifully steps in. He stepped in right after the serve, of course. Backhand, boom. All right, so we got Sebi Korda. He's got. Uh, so this, I was all remembered to this when I said lemon squeezy because he's got a yellow top on it's Nike. He's also got white shorts, white shoes, white wristbands with Nike, and he's got his patented, patented, uh, uh, hairband. Is it a hairband or a headband? I feel like it's a hairband more than a headband where he kind of puts it up below and then his hair kind of flows over it. Um, so yeah. And then he's also rocking a, I think, maybe $300,000 watch called a Richard Meal watch, which is pretty gangster. Uh, Rafa also is sponsored by them and also rocks um, the same valued watch on a tennis court, which is so gangster. All right. So uh, Korda now finishes that game, gets his first game, and he's on the board. So now 3-1 for the Russian. First serve is out wide. It's good. And... Korda cannot return. So 15 love. Man, Hachanov just feels like he's rolling right now. And Korda's starting starting to get back there. But yeah, Hachanov, yeah, he ate his Wheaties this morning, y'all. All right, let's see. M's, it's 4 a.m. 2 in Ireland. Whoop, whoop. Oh, you're from Ireland. Oh, nice. One of my best friends is from Tip Town, Tipperary. Um, he lived here for a couple of years. We we met when we became roommates and we became best friends instantly. And uh, he's, but he didn't get his visa to, to become a permanent or his permanent residency. All right, backhand to backhand battle here. Backhand Korda. Now forehand Hachanov. Forehand Korda. Forehand Hachanov. Inside out forehand from Korda. Slice from Hachanov. Now Korda's at the net. Hachanov tries to lob him, but it's long. Great rally though. So 15 all here on the Hachanov serve. Oh, we got the man uh, who did the marathon matches with Andy Murray. He just also called the Yelena versus Elena. It's David. Big up, Cubby. Have a good stream. Thank you, brother. Um, yeah, I caught some of his stream. He always kills it. Um, great insights. And let's give it up one time for Dave, if you know Dave. Um, there you have it. Let's see here. Peach is saying. Oh, actually, one second. Great serve out wide. That's an ace. 30-15. Uh, Peaches, Maria, me too. It's crazy sleep deprived. It's not good today at work. My keyboard looked like a pillow. <laughs> nice. You got the little uh, numbers and letters on, imprinted on your face there, perhaps. Um, Peaches says, it's a better look than Big, uh, what Big Foe was wearing. I like colors, but geez, wasn't feeling those colors. Yeah, it was very interesting for sure. I loved, I like the turquoise blue in, in those Nike colors. And that's what uh, Hachanov's shorts are. Um, and there you go. Another ace up the T that's five now for Hachanov. So he's got two game points for serving to the net. Menoris. Yo, Menoris. Welcome. Welcome. Always stoked to have you friend. All right. Second serve. Nice return up the middle from Korda. Now forehand Hachanov backhand Korda up the line or forehand cross court Hachanov. Now a forehand. No, it's a drop shot from Korda. And it's a nice one. Oh, okay. So it's a, he drops it. Hachanov gets to it. And he pops it up. And then Korda wasn't expecting that he'd get it. So he kind of last second had to hit Hachanov's return back. And he just pops it up really, really short and easy. And then Hachanov easy put away. So, yeah. Oh, go to commercial right when the replay. Come on, buddy. What are you doing to me? M saying, what's up? Hey, Manoris, David, uh, we got Manoris, Hachanov, extremely solid guy in the big stages, made quarters in every slam, ninth guy to do it. Uh, I'm 50-50 on that match, but trust C 
uh, Karen Moore. All right, all right. I can see your your points, your reasoning is all valid, and it's a solid pick. I I have Corda in four, but I mean, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, Corda literally didn't think that he got that off uh, before the double bounce, so it's like he stopped playing. But when the ball came back to him, he still just just hit it, and it was like the lightest hit ever. And Hachanov was already at the net and just smashes it. He, yeah, interesting little point. Okay. Hachanov, another hold. So 4 1 now. And. You know, I feel like I should probably give Hachanov a button with how well he's been playing and all these aces, but. I definitely forgot. We're going to give him some love here in a second, unless Korda overtakes him in this moment. All right, forehand Hachanov, forehand Korda, forehand Hachanov, forehand Korda up the line, backhand Hachanov, forehand Korda, forehand Hachanov. It's a loopy one, backhand Korda, and then backhand Hachanov into the net. So it's 15 love for the server. Hagula. Hagula. Hagula is up next uh, versus two-time champion Vika Azarenka right after this match on this court. First serve is good. Hachanov off the net cord and it lands back on his side. So 30 love for Korda. You know what? I feel bad. I'm going to give him this button now. Uh, this is for Hachanov. He deserved it. Karim. 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 No Here we go. Didn't even miss any action. Just one <laughs> serve that was long. So second serve coming up. Still 30 love for Korda. Balls up. It's good. Now backhand Korda inside out. And wrong foot Hachana. 40 love. Looking for her, his first game to love now. Peaches, I have Korda in five, but Karen is playing solid. Yeah, he is. Making me nervous of my pick right now for sure. Uh, Max in the house. Hey, Max. Welcome. Nice to have you as always. Hey, Covey. How was the Belinda and Arena match? And thank you for the live stream. You're very welcome. It was a great match in the sense that some great hitting from the beginning from Bencic. Uh, oh, that's a game to love here, folks. I got to hit this button real quick. <laughs> Yeah, so you're asking about the match yesterday. So it was really good. Um, Belinda Benchich started out um, sharper, more crisp, had a, her game plan working. Sabalenka was a little bit off, but then she kind of found her groove about 10 games into the match and started really powering the ball, grunting, positive attitude, and just the power game just took over. And you pretty much felt like, uh-oh, this is going to be tough for uh, Benchich. Uh, Benchich broke. In, the, in her, I think, in the first chance she had in the, in the first return game, and then didn't even see a single break point for the rest of the match. So very dominant from Sabalenka. Anyways, it was a good one. So here we are, Hachanov at 15 love. First serve is a let. Um, Minoris saying their head-to-head -head is also interesting. Korda 2-1, but the time Hachanov won was on a slam. Yeah, and that was the also the... The longest time ago, that one. Actually, you know what? I, I don't think I even mentioned the head-to-head. -head. Normally, I do that. My apologies. Let me just quickly get you that. Specifics on that. We've got... All right. 30 love, Hachanov. Great serve up the line. Now, or up the tee, I should say. And then a backhand winner from Korda. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Steps in. See, that's the type of point. That's the type of strike where I'm like, okay, maybe he's starting to get get back into it because he, he had his foot feet ready, stepped in just uh, just up to the baseline baseline and struck a nice backhand. He's got a beautiful backhand. So we have Hachanov, 2021 Wimbledon. And so that was a five-setter. It actually went 10-8 in the, in the fifth set. Wow. 
Um, so that was a really long match. So that was July of 2021. And then the last two were best of three, both of them straight sets wins for Corda, uh, ATP Cincinnati, ATP Antwerp, um, both in, uh, in August and then October of last year. So the most recent uh, are Corda straight sets wins. But right now, Hachanov's looking great. It's up 40 15, and that's game. 5 2, Hachanov. Yeah, he's just looking comfortable uh, in a, in like a good way, not like in a lazy way. <laughs> Peaches, Covey grunting, LOL, that's normal for Saba. Yes, however, she wasn't grunting um, with the same oomph and as much at the beginning when she wasn't on. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I how I like felt felt her mood was like kind of increasing. Um, Yes, Minora says correct. It was a five setter at Wimby. It went 10 8 in the last set. Pretty long. Covey, I can tell you we will have an epic. Ooh, okay, okay. I would love to see that. I would love to see that. Nothing like a Monday night epic. Although it's actually a Tuesday afternoon epic um, where the players are playing. All right. So. So far, so far, our boy Sebastian Corda will, will be facing some pressure here on serve, serving the stay in the set here. Two five. Got a new can of balls. First serve is good. Backhand return, and then a backhand Corda, backhand slice. Hachanov is just long. 15, love. That looked close. Oh, you know what? I said that Hachanov was wearing a, like a plain white tee. The bottom half is plain white, but there's actually some like light and white patterns on the top. Ooh. Heavy serve, but that one was long. Second serve, good. Backhand return. Now backhand up the line, Korda. Forehand, Hachanov into the net. 30, love, Korda. Hey, baby, having some dinner? That's my dog. She's having some food. Menorah Saba is so in control this, uh, this year. You can hear it. <laughs> I really hope to see her with that trophy, says Menorah. Yeah, same here. Love to see the emotion of a first-time Grand Slam champion. And um, it's going to happen on the women's side unless Azarenka wins it for the third time. And on the men's side, you, does anyone think uh, Djokovic will be beaten on the men's side? Let me know what you think. Um, he's playing Rublev next. And, uh, yeah. Really curious. Um, I'm starting to feel like he's going to run away with it. Um, but let's see. Let us see. He's on a 25-match winning streak at the Australian Open as well. Second longest streak of all time. One behind Agassi. So if he wins tomorrow, he will be tied. All right. Double fault there for Corda. So 40-15. No game to love. For him this time. Actually, I don't think he's had one yet. Oh, no, he did had one. All right. Hachanov return is way wide. Great serve up the tee. So Hachanov now serving for the set at 5-3. Big moments, big moments. And I'm going to call this the business end. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't say business end at 5-3. However, Hachanov, with the way he's been serving, I think this might be the business end of this set. Of not of all sets. Okay. Second serve now. Nice return up the line on the backhand. Now a slice from Hachanov, a slice from Korda. Forehand. Oh, no. That, that uh, backhand from Korda was long. So Hachanov now, 15 love, three points from the first set. Korda is kind of uh, kicking the ground, kind of like feeling the, the grip kind of thing. You know, when you do that, like, 
Um, I wonder if he feels like his his shoes are slipping. Um, all right, forehand Hachanov off the baseline from Korda, uh, and Hachanov's forehand after that is long, so it's fifteen all. Korda says, "I'm not going to make it easy for you, brah." So fifteen all as I'm running out of my iced tea already. Didn't even make it a set. First serve is a let. Another first coming up. Uh, second first serve is long. Now the first second serve. A uh, nice block return. Hachanov steps up forehand. Now a passing shot forehand by Korda. And it was a nice one. He, From his forehand side, it goes cross his body, cross Hachanov's body. And uh, so Hachanov, yeah, Hachanov comes in on the forehand. Korda rips it. The only place he could have gone was that forehand cross court. And like I said, that's not easy because he had to cross both of their bodies with the ball. Um, and Hachanov, and he still got it out of Hachanov's, uh, Hachanov's forehand volley reach. All right, Hachanov now backhand flails, and now it's 1540, and Korda is uh, got a couple breaks here. He um, starting to wake up right at the, the correct moment here. Rocco, okay, now I don't know, but I'm guessing you're saying de qual pays son. So in French. Uh, the quel pays son would be like from what country are you from? So I'm from the I'm from Canada. Let me know where you're from. Are you from? Is this Portuguese? Uh, yeah, let me know where you're from. Canada here, and then we've got some West Coast uh, and East Coast North Americans in the chat as well. All right, here we go. Fifteen forty second serve. Big moments here. Big moments. Serve is good. Backhand return. Hachanov forehand. Backhand Korda. And Hachanov into the net on the backhand. There you have it. The first break. Or sorry. The, first break, uh, the big break, actually, uh, to keep himself in the match. So I'm going to give Korda a little bit of love. Huge, uh, huge step up at a huge moment. <laughs> Sebastian Connor When the ball's flying past you feel like you're treading water Ooh, Sebastian Connor When you lose in the match Realize it's a new world order Bastion Corda, there you are. Um, so, oh, what happened here? Oh, okay, we're all, oh, my feet keeps coming in and out. I'm not sure what's going on. It's like auto-refreshing over and over. What, hey, hey, come on, buddy. What's up, what's up? Chill out, chill out, stream. Okay, what do we have for likes? 34, nice, nice. One third of the way to the goal, y'all. I I feel like today's the day. Today's the day I'm going to get the first triple digit, and then I get to hit the 100 likes button too. Um, you know, with the best of three matches, it's a little tougher. We don't have as much time, but I think we can do it. Okay, here we go. Back on serve, four or five, Korda serving. Serves up an ace to kick it off. Okay. Minora says the crowd hates Hachanov. Some guy told me that uh, that they died. Huh? Well, yeah, I know that he's had a couple matches. He even says like I don't mind if you if you're cheering against me. I like cheering, but he doesn't like when they cheer like when you you know double fault or miss an overhead or something like that, which I think is fair. All right, fifteen all here. Ah. You know, sometimes my live stream is faster than the scoreboard. Sometimes it's a little slower. Right now, unfortunately, it's a little. Let's see if I can just. Oh, that's all. That's where we are. All right, we have Max with another question here. 
as Korda goes wide on the serve, and Hachanov cannot handle that, so it goes long. Covey, I have a random question. Are you familiar with Sanya Mirza? She mostly plays doubles and mixed doubles. I have definitely heard of her. She's from India, which is where my parents are from, and so I've always kind of known her name. Haven't really followed her or watched too many of her matches. I've definitely watched a few, but I hear that she's close to retiring. Serve and volley from Korda. Beautiful backhand volley into the open court. And it's 40-15. Really nicely done there. As Radek Stepanek, his coach, yells, rocking that same yellow Nike shirt from the crowd. M saying, come on, Karen. Uh, I guess after the after it was broken. L Alexander Laurence from LA, baby. Yeah, yeah. Um, Menorahs, I was like, why the crowd died? He was like, I meant quit dead and not dead dead. I'm not fully following. But uh, he served there for Korda, and now it is five all. So there you go. We're back on level, and I think I think we should give some love. Wait, no, we're going to wait. We're going to wait one second because his button's actually long. We don't want to miss any action with these buttons. All right, so Ozzy open up next. You got Pagula Azarenka followed by Lahechka Sitsipas, which I think is going to be a cracker of a match. All right, Hachana, first serve is into the net. Um, <laughs> Menorahs, this is what happened when English is your third language. Nice. All right, we got a backhand battle here. Backhand Korda, backhand Hachana up the middle, backhand slice Korda. Backhand Hachanov, backhand slice Korda to the forehand side of Hachanov. And that goes long. It was a nice change of a switch up change of pace. It kind of fooled Hachanov. So now it is love 15. And woo, I wonder if Korda, after being down 3 5 and uh, having a chance, having a chance there um, to, to come back, he breaks. Let's see if he can now put pressure and maybe even have a chance to serve it out. But Hachanov says not so fast as he takes uh, gets a free point there off of his serve. Comes back unreturned. Oh, we got Darth Bulldog saying love from Melbourne. Welcome, Darth. Nice to have you. Were you at the were you at the courts today? Let us know. Let us know. I think you mean quiet. So what you're writing is quite like, how was it? It was quite good. And then there's quit, which is like, I don't want to do this anymore. I quit like your job. And then there's, there's quiet, which is Q U I E T, which means like, shh. so I think we're having a little issue with the quit quiet, quite, but um, Hey, you got Covey's corner. Maybe we could do Covey's, uh, Covey's alliteration lessons. All right, Hachinov now 40-15 here. So he's not too... Beautiful serve up the tee. That's an ace. Uh, what number is that? I think six now. So Korda now will have to serve for a tie break as we have a changeover before... The real business end. So I was way too early on the business end button. All right, let's give it one more time for Hachana. Karim, 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 Hachano. Karim, 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 Hachano. The dancing graphic is so gangster. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Sophia Chen says, had to go finish a paper, but back now. Haha. <laughs> Glad to see Sebi doing better. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it was good luck that you did your homework there for, for Korda. Um, we got Darth Bulldog. I've been down quite a few times, but not today, unfortunately. Ah, okay. Cool. Um, let's see here. And he says, great atmosphere. Yeah, definitely seems like it. Uh, Aussies like to have a good time. Tons of Aussies here in, in Vancouver, actually, especially in Whistler, which is our um, is a big skiing mountain where we had the Olympics in 2010. Vancouver, Whistler. 
and it's a place where people come from around the world to go skiing. And Aussies dominate. Sometimes it's almost, you almost joke that if you, uh, you can't get into Whistler if you don't have your Aussie passport on you. All right, forehand, Hatchinov on the return. And then Korda goes up the line. Um, too much power, Hachanov, uh return off of that goes long. So three points from a tie break here. Okay. First serve up the tee is long. All right. Second is good. Backhand now. Corda is long. So 15 all. All right, all right. So we got potential for two Americans in the semis, actually. If Corda wins and then the Paul versus um, Shelton is going to guarantee an American in the semis. Interesting. All right, Hachanov return backhand up the line is good. Now, uh, Korda tries to go inside out backhand, but that's wide. So it's 1530, getting a little bit tense here for the American. Two points away from being down a set, but he's on sir, or he's serving. So let's see. You can use that racket to get out of this one. All right, first serve, good. Chop return, forehand Korda, forehand Hachanov, backhand Korda cross court, backhand slice Hachanov, forehand inside out from Korda, backhand Hachanov, squash shot from uh, Korda goes off the top of the net. Now we have Hachanov is at the net, and Korda rips one at him, but uh, he, he gets the volley, but it's wide. So a smart play by Korda. Uh, Hachana came up and then he hit a volley that was, it wasn't short. It wasn't too short. It, uh, it landed kind of halfway between the baseline and the service line. So Korda steps up and just rips it pretty much not at his body, but at his backhand side and, uh, just couldn't handle it too much heat on that. So 30 all 30 all here. Now, serve, return is long, 40-30, and we are one point away from a tie break in the first set. Let's go. Okay. Serve is long. Here comes a second. Ah, the scoreboard's cheating. It's going ahead of us. But hey, that uh, return from Hachanov is long, and here we are. Time for a tiebreaker. <laughs> All right, y'all. Tiebreak is getting good here on Rod Laver Arena. Uh, 39 likes, loving it, guys. And we're still in the first set. Woo! All right, first serve is nice from Hachanov up the tee. Forehand, Korda. Forehand, Hachanov. Backhand, slice, Korda. Forehand, Hachanov. Backhand, Korda. Forehand, Hachanov up the line. Squash, forehand, uh, Korda. And then the forehand from Hachanov into the top of the tape. Does not make it over. And the quick mini break for Sebastian Korda. Woo! Tense moments. Tense moments. That was a great forehand squash shot. Great angle. Hachanov got to it. Uh, but because it was a squash shot, it didn't really bounce high. And Hachanov, I guess, uh, just couldn't couldn't make it over the high part of the net there. He was pulled off the court from that uh, forehand squash shot. So Korda's uh, playing some pretty decent defense. Um 
pretty good for sure. Both these guys similar in height. You got Hachanov 1.98 meters, which is 6'6". Six, six. Korda 6'5", 1.96. Korda with the... Oh, I thought that was in a forehand up the line, and it looked like he clipped it, but no, he didn't. Missed it a hair wide. I want to see that. I bet you it's like a millimeter off. Anyways, uh, we're back on serve, mini serve. Yeah, missed by maybe three millimeters or so. Very, very close. All right, all right. Here it is. One all, Corda serving. We're 42 minutes into the match. 42 on there, 43 on the scoreboard. Split the difference. Say 42 and a half. First serve long. Second serve coming up. Up the T. Backhand Hachanov return. Backhand Korda. Backhand Hachanov. Oh, hits the baseline. Korda, he's sure that it was long. He's looking at it, pointing at it. Uh, but the electronic line calling system says, nope, that touched it. Actually, it says that more of it was in than out. So let's just see. Oh, no, that was in. They, they're showing a slow-mo replay of it of it actually bouncing. That was in for sure. Uh, I mean, I don't know how accurate. I'm pretty sure it's in the 90-something, 90 98 and above, 99 for the accuracy. I'm not sure if you all know, but the, the line calling, um, oh, real quick, actually, you got forehand to forehand battle, forehand Hachanov. Forehand Korda, now he steps in, he's at the net, but Hachanov can't handle that, and it does not come back. So, another mini break back for Korda, we're at two each. So, what I was going to say is the line calling system, is they don't actually take like a video of the ball landing and then really quickly and instantly give us a, a verdict. What they do is they based on all the cameras and lasers, they say the ball is going to land here based on its spin, distance, speed, and all that stuff. Korda with a nice forehand cross court. Now Hachanov steps in. Korda backhand tries to pass, but that goes off the tape. So nice step in by Hachanov. Puts the pressure on Korda, and he could not could not find the gap like he did at the end um, in the 5-6 mat, uh, five, six game. All right. Yeah, nicely done. Nicely done. Hachanov pushes him out wide. Okay. What's going on in the chat here? It's been a little quiet for a few minutes. Everyone must be glued to their TV for the tie break. Okay. Back on serve. 2-3 Korda. First serve is an ace. Beautiful. Here's the changeover. Let's give him a little love for that. Sebastian Carter. When the ball's flying past, you feel like you're treading water. Realize it's a new world order Ooh, All right, back right on time as usual. Corda now at three all serving on serve in the tie break. So Corda was down a break at three five. Breaks back. Uh, as Hachanov had the set on his racket at 5-3. And then we're in a tiebreak. All right, second serve is good. Now backhand Hachanov, backhand Korda, backhand Hachanov, backhand Korda, backhand Hachanov, backhand slice Korda into the net. Another mini break, this time for Hachanov. And now he's up 4-3, about to take serve. So, decent serving from both. However, looks like tie. What is it? Tie break. Only two 
two points have been one on serve in this tiebreak. Now three because Hachanov goes up the tee with an ace. 5-3 as his coach claps on from the stands. Hachanov's like, hey, give me the balls. Come on, get them to me quicker. All right, here we go. Hachanov serve is long. Second serve coming up. Is good. Backhand from Korda. Backhand Hachanov. Forehand Korda. Forehand Hachanov. Forehand Korda is long. And now three set points for the Russian uh, as Korda gets the ball back on his racket for a couple of serves. Uh, your explanation for Cyclops was way too confusing, huh? Sorry, uh... Uh, sorry, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure what Cyclops is, or are you talking to me, or are you talking to someone else? But uh, let me know because I'd like to clear that up if possible. Okay. Um, here's Corda. Nice serve up the tee. Short ball, and he steps in and puts it away. So four six now. Still two set points for Hachanov. Are you, uh, BJ, are you, are you talk? Oops. Are you talking about the electronic line calling system that I was talking about? Let me know. Um, all right. Two more set points. Corda serve in here for six. Serve is good out wide. Hachanov, nice cross-court forehand return. And Corda with a forehand. Hachanov with a forehand. Great angles here. Forehand, Corda. Hachanov up the middle, Korda goes cross court, forehand Korda again up the line, now backhand slice, Hachanov, backhand Korda, backhand slice, Hachanov, backhand Korda, backhand uh, Hachanov, now forehand Korda, backhand Hachanov, backhand Korda, backhand Hachanov, backhand Korda, forehand Hachanov, Forehand squash shot from Korda, now forehand up the line, Hachanov he approaches the net, volleys off of the Korda, a pass attempt, and the uh, Hachanov backhand volley goes into the net. So, keep saving points when it's the the biggest moments. Um, wow, what a rally. That was quite the rally. Beautiful. And it was such a big point, too. Nice. All right. So two set points have been saved, both of them on Sebastian Korda's serve. Now Hachanov has, that was a 27-shot rally. Hachanov has the set on his racket. 6-5, serve is good. Forehand Korda, forehand Hachanov, forehand Korda, forehand Hachanov, forehand Korda, forehand Hachanov, forehand Korda off the net cord, backhand Hachanov, backhand Korda. Backhand slice Hachanov to the forehand of Korda. Forehand Hachanov. Forehand Korda. Backhand slice Hachanov. Uh, Korda forehand. And then backhand winner by Hachanov up the line. And he puts his ear to his finger to his ear to say, hey, let me hear it. Let me hear it. 7 5 victory for the Russian Karen Hachanov. Karen. 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 No, Karim, 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 had to know. All right, y'all. So that was a great first set. 7-6 for uh, Hachanov over Sebastian Korda. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, and uh, we have a message from our sponsors, and then we'll be right back, and get and we'll get right into the second set, y'all. So have a listen. And uh, take a look here at our... Oh, actually, looks like it was moved. It moved the button on me. Where is it at? Where is it at? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, is it gone? Maybe it's not there anymore. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, hey. That's fine. All goody, all goody. All right, so a little break time, break action. Um, just 
want to make sure I'm not missing this thing here. Scratching all the rim. Corinne. Corinne. Yeah, I don't see this button here. So, all good. All good. Okay, uh, let's check out the comments here. M saying, no, Corinne, stop, stop coming to the net. Uh, BJ says, great rally. Yeah, that 27 shot rally was awesome. Vamos, vamos, Corinne. Um, Nature Explorer says, USA versus Russia with a smile and nice shot, Karen. Yeah, that uh, backhand up the line winner was a beauty, I, if I do say so myself. Okay, okay. So uh, showing the, the court of family here. Sebastian has one career singles title. Peter Korda, his father, 1998 Aussie Open champion. Regina Raj Chertova is a mother, former WTA number 26. Nelly Korda, his sister, has 12 LPGA titles and current world number two. And Jessica Korda, other sister, has six LPGA titles. And what's also crazy is that the father and both sisters each have Australian Open titles. He's the only family member. Him and his mom are the only ones without an Australian Open championship. Pretty crazy bloodlines there. All right, so 15 love Corda here to start the second set. He's got the first serve, so he could put that pressure on. Snehill says, hi, Covey. Hey, Snehill, welcome from Mumbai. Thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, always good to have you. Menorah saying, Karen is like, hey, I won the set. Cheer me. Uh, yeah, he is. He put his ear up like that. We have... Ratan Rajkumar saying Hachanov is great. He is, man. In the last, uh, gosh, in, in the Grand Slams, he's becoming like the go-to go -to Russian when you want to make a good pick. Beautiful winner. Uh, Sebastian Korda comes in for the serve and volley, but he left the forehand return from Hachanov. He thought it was going long, but it clipped the baseline. There you go. Menoris, yes, I very much agree with this sentiment. Hachanov deserved that set. Yes, he did, absolutely. Um, and Ghost is saying Hachanov has athletes in his family too. His dad was a volleyball player. Actually, yes, he was. I looked it up a little earlier. Um, he started playing tennis at the age of three. His father uh, was an Armenian, played volleyball, and then studied medicine. And... His idols growing up were Safin Del Patro, uh, which is very apt because he has uh, that style of forehand and power. All right, here it is. 30 all, Corda serving. Nice serve out wide. Block back return. And he goes plus one inside out, but that's wide. So quick early break opportunity for the Russian as Corda goes wide and long on that one. Okay. Yes, of course I do. Kavi, do you know the meaning of your name in Hindi? It means poet. Uh, yeah, my father named me this. Uh, yeah, it's the Hindi word for poet. And Kavita, which is what I'm still looking for, is the is called a poem. So I'm looking for my poem. The poet is searching for his poem. Um, there we go. All right, second serve. Nice one out wide. Kicker. Now we got a backhand Hachanov cross court. Backhand slice Korda. Forehand Hachanov. Backhand Korda, forehand Hachanov, backhand Korda, inside out, forehand Hachanov. It's a loopy one. Backhand Korda, cross court. Now a backhand slice from Korda, backhand Hachanov, backhand Korda, up the line Hachanov, forehand Korda, backhand Hachanov, another backhand Hachanov, forehand Korda, off the great angle. Woo! And he saves that break. Boy, was that close. I think that might have clipped the outside of the net. 21-shot rally. It seems like the bigger the point, these guys uh, have longer rallies, which is awesome. So backhand. So what happened was Hachanov went inside or went up the line backhand. And Korda just hit the ball. Like he hit the outside of the ball and got a wonderful angle there. Hey, Snehill, I actually don't know what your name means in Hindi. So if you want to share it, please do. Okay. Korda, serve out wide, block return, forehand, court up. The line is a beauty. Lands right 
where the baseline meets the sideline, and it was oh, lovely. See, these are the type of like pure ball striking, like majesty that Corda possesses. He has this like elegance with the way that he has got the easy power, strikes it clean. Whereas Hachanov, he's got more power, I would say, but it's more obvious power. It's less like um, kind of clean, easy power. You, like you can feel the force. He's such a strong, brutal, like not brutal in a bad way, but brutal in the way that he can smack the ball. All right, so hold for uh, Korda, and I think um, he saved a really big break there, so I'm going to give him some love. Sebastian Carter When the ball's flying past, you feel like you're treading water Realize it's a new world order Ooh, All right, they're showing some serve numbers on the screen. Hachanov, 74% first serves won in the first match. And every match since then, it's gone up. Uh, he's, he actually hit 90 and 80 a couple of times, 79. So he's just been killer on serve this whole tournament. We got a forehand to forehand battle now a backhand from Korda backhand slice Hachanov into the net so love 15 now um let's see ghost here saying I love both uh, Safin and Delpo Hachanov has good taste yep Snehill says you are right yes ah he says my name means friendly nice I've actually met a couple Snehills but I've never asked them what their name was so thank you for that Peaches says uh, Hachanov has to keep playing aggressive and then also says nice shot Corda. Um, so I love it. We've got uh, Concepcion Carding saying hello. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining and saying hello. Very happy to have you. And uh, if you're feeling like it, please give us a like. I'm trying to hit 100 likes for the first time in my streaming career. And there we go. Hachanov forehand is long. So now 30, uh, sorry, love 30 here. Nahil, my prediction was Corda in four sets. Four sets, Corda. How about you? And Nature here with, uh, I don't, mini break for Corda. Mini break. Um, I think not. Uh, I think mini breaks usually just in uh, in tie breaks, my friend. All right, Hachanov is at the net. Uh, Corda with a forehand. Hachanov gets that, volleys it into the open court. So nicely done there from Hachanov. Yeah. Is it? Okay. So I hear the commentators every once in a while. They're saying Hachanov. Do you, who here knows for sure? Is it uh, Hachanov or Hachanov? Because on the WTA website, they have this really cool thing where you can search up a player and then that player actually says their name. So if I click Ons Jabur, for example, it'll literally be Ons Jabur saying, my name is Ons Jabur, and then she'll say it a second time slowly. They don't do that on for the men. So anyone, please let me know. All right, we got a forehand cross-court battle. No, we don't, because Korda just went up the line, and it was very long. So Hachanov, after going down love 30, brings it back. To thir is it 40? It should be 40-30. Yeah, it's 40-30. I'm not sure what's going on. This on this uh, on screen scoreboard is saying Okay. Yeah, here he goes. There it is. 40 Ah, oh, gosh, we've So yeah, 40. Now he's won three straight points. So he's down love 30, now he's up 40-30. Sixteen winners for Hachinov. Uh, nice serve out wide, and that's game. So one all, and uh, impressive. Down love thirty, and comes back with a couple of big serves and big. Karim, 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 Hachinov, Karim, Karim. 
Snail says, uh, yes, same quarter and four. All right, great minds think alike. Although um, John Hobbs making it look like it might not be the case, but let's see. All right, one all here. First serve into the net. Second serve, Hachana forehand. And now a backhand slice from Korda. Backhand Hachana forehand. Korda is long. 15, I love 15. Nahil says, Korda is just playing way too loose. Too many errors. Nowhere near the level he played against Medi. Yeah. Um, I agree with that. He hasn't found his groove just yet. Hachanov started the match in full groove mode. Like he was like, I'm 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 in like I'm warm. I'm ready to go. And he's been playing like it pretty much ever since, although he did have a couple of scares. Nice big serve. That was a wide serve. Hachanov couldn't handle it from his backhand side. And it lobs over Korda and over the entire court. Uh, first serve is good. Backhand return Hachanov. Backhand Korda. Forehand Hachanov. Forehand Korda, I should say, goes long. And now it is 15.30. So Hachanov is just relentless here. He's just keeping the pressure, keeping the pressure. Um, very interesting. <laughs> BJ likes the button. B he says, nice button for uh, Hachanov. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Hachanov's looking great. He's on his toes. He just keeps relentless pressure on Korda here. Great return of serve from Hachanov. Lands on the baseline. Now we got a backhand Korda, forehand Hachanov. Forehand Korda, he goes to the net. A lob from Hachanov, a defensive one. Korda, a slam from midcourt. Oh, my gosh. He hit it. It landed on the, the, the outside tram line. So, you know, like, uh, he was like three and a half feet wide. Um, Hachanov, just a nice defensive play just to get it back on the backhand. And it, and it landed not super deep. And then Korda does one of these after. Like, what am I doing? He, he missed that by like... Oh, Snail has got to bounce. He says, need to go, Covey. See you later. Take care, Snail. Thanks for joining us. And hope to see you again soon on one of the streams. GTL's got a whole bunch of action. So uh, always check, uh, check, uh, blah, blah. check our channel is what I'm trying to say. Check out our channel to uh, see what's going on. All right. Korda with a big ace up the tee saves one of uh, two potential break points. And Peaches also has to go. Covey, have to leave. Thank you for stream GTL fam. Take care. You take care, Peaches. Thank you for coming to join us. Love the energy always. And another ace up the tee. Beautiful. So back to Deuce. So both of these players now, whenever the moment getting uh, tense, they're stepping up, especially when they're serving. Um, holding their serve. And that's a very important thing to be able to do if you want to go deep into a grand slam. I think, uh, what, Sabalenka has only been broken, like, I think three times in the entire tournament so far, which is huge. And one of them is yesterday. Nice serve there. Backhand now from Korda is very deep and lands in off the sideline. Now a backhand lob, defensive lob from Kachanov goes long. That makes it way over the court. And so advantage Korda after being down 1540. So both these guys are putting themselves well. Nature Explorer, ace is best when under pressure. You got that right. Such a great way to relieve pressure. Absolutely. Ghost, cheer for JPEG for me. I know you are her biggest fan. <laughs> yeah, Ghost loves it. All right, here's Korda. Kick serve, backhand return. Now backhand Korda, forehand Hachanov is long. And there is another hold for the American. Thank you.
Sebastian Carter When the ball's flying past me, it feel like you're treading water Ooh, Sebastian Carter When you lose in the match, realize it's a new world order All right. Good night, Peaches. Have a good one. Thanks again for joining us. Um, and guess what, folks? We are at 45 likes. That's uh, almost halfway to the goal. Can we hit 100? I believe we can. I think we will. What do we have right now? We have currently... We have 105 watchers on YouTube, 6 on Facebook Live, and 1 on Game to Love Podcast on Twitch. Thank you all for joining me from wherever you're joining me. Really appreciate it. And um, here we go. BJ Fresh asks, was Shelton broken yesterday? Yes, I believe he was broken. Let me just double check that for you. I did I did mention some stuff about that um, in Cubby's Corner this morning. But here we go. Let's look. So in the match stats, it says so. Actually, no. Uh, he saved. He faced two and saved two. So yeah, uh, his serve is crazy, man. Um, yeah, he's the only guy I think could potentially surprise Djokovic, being a lefty with so much power. Uh, he's the only guy I think could maybe slip him up, um, unless Rublev has like the the day of his life. But I say, yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's a good question. I yeah, it says in the match he saved two of two, where um, JJ saved five of nine, so he gave up four breaks there. All right, so the first serve for Hachanov was an ace. And then Korda got one. So here's Hachanov. Second serve at 15 all. Forehand, backhand Korda, backhand Hachanov into the net. 15 30. Yeah, Ben Shelton was serving 140 miles an hour. It was crazy. It was crazy. Okay, first serve is into the net. That's a, a fault. Second serve is good. Backhand Korda, nice return. But uh, Hachanov with a nice backhand slice response. Now backhand Korda, backhand Hachanov, backhand Korda into the net. 30 all. Menorah's fun fact, Korda only played one match after five sets and lost that. Uh, only played one match after five sets. You mean he only played one five, like a, a match that went five sets? And sorry, I'm not fully following. He says, and it was at the AO last year. Corda only played one match after five sets and lost that. So are you saying that like he played a five setter, won that, and then the next match he lost? Um, I feel like that's what you might be saying, but I'm not positive. We got now we got a forehand Korda is long, so now Hachanov got a game point. Ah, uh, you're saying I meant that he won a five set. Uh, a one of five set match and then lost the next match. Ah, okay. Okay. So maybe fatigue can play a factor for him. All right. Forehand from Hachanov is long. So deuce here. Deuce at one, two in the second set. Oh, Gene is in the house. What's up, Gene? Hello, Covey and everyone. Nice to have you in the chat as always. So far, Hachanov has been keeping the pressure up. Um, just kind of 
he started out the match playing really well. He was kind of on his front foot right out the gate. And then had a chance to serve the first set at 5-3, but was broken. Goes to a tie break, and then he takes that one with a beautiful backhand down the line. Nine aces there. He gets one right, uh, one ace right there. That's his ninth. And now he's got the advantage. And serve is good. Plus one is good as well. So hold four. Oh, Minoris is leaving. Take care, Minoris. Thanks for joining. Um, we'll see you soon, hopefully. Um, Hachanov with the uh, yeah, winner up the line there. So a couple of games each. We are on serve. Be back soon. Okay, dope. Dope. Yeah, please do. Come say hi. Um, Nature Explorer. Maria Sharpova is a player who may have done most double faults on break points. What is your opinion? I didn't actually know that, that, that she's done the most double faults specifically on break points. Uh, so unfortunately, I don't really have an opinion on that, but it is interesting, and I did not know that. It's, that's definitely a very interesting stat for one of the stars borderline superstars of the game. Okay, first serve here at 15 love is wide. All right, second serve is good. Drop shot from Korda. Hachanov gets to it, but can't get it over the net. Beautiful drop shot. So 30 love for Korda. Silky smooth hands. Okay. Jose says, congratulations to Aussie Open participants. More power. Yeah, more power to them for sure. Oh, nice return from Hachanov. Korda comes in for the serve and volley, but uh, the Hachanov return, I think he saw him coming in, so he dipped it right over the net, and Korda had a backhand right from his shoelaces little half volley that uh, went into the net. So smart play by Hachanov to recognize the serve and volley and dip that ball right over the net. Jack Goldie saying, who do you think will win this one? I had uh, Korda in four sets before the match started. Right now, um, I'm going to stick with my guns, but uh, Hachanov is looking really, really good. Oh, backhand return. Hachanov is long. So 40 15. A couple of break a uh, couple of game points now for the American. Damn, quarter should have won the first set then. Well, I mean, he was down 3 5 and then breaks back to, to get it. Um, but then uh, Hachanov was up 6 3 and then ended up winning at 7 5. So. Um, I think Hachanov had more chances for sure to win it. Yes. Korda loses another point at the net here. What's going on? The ref is on the phone. Korda is asking the umpire for something. I wonder if he has a medical uh, issue. He might be calling a trainer for after the game. Let's see. Interesting. All right. Backhand winner up the line for Korda. So there you go. 3-2. He has the advantage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Korda was down. He was down 3-5. And then uh, he was also down 3-6 in 3-5 uh, in games. And then broke back at 3-5 when Hachanov was serving. Uh, and then he also was down 3-6 in the tie break. So, yeah, Hachanov has kind of been on top of him for most of it. Uh, let's give Korda... Do we give Korda another button? I think he deserves a button, y'all. Yeah, let's give him one more button. We got to change over. We got time. Sebastian Carter you feel like you're treading water Ooh, Sebastian Carter When you lose in the match, realize it's a new world order Ooh, Sebastian Carter I like 
I like the very end where he's like, ooh, Sebastian Carter. Like he slows it down, gets all sultry at the end. Ben knows what's up when he makes these buttons. So good. Okay, so now we're back from commercial break, and I don't see Physio. Oh, okay. So Physio, that's weird. They should have been there right away, but I guess maybe they're somewhere else. Anyways, so now his right wrist, the outside, so his pinky side of his right wrist here, this spot, is what they're working on. Um, obviously, you can't really hear what they're saying, but it's his right wrist, so obviously his... His uh, dominant forehand side. And he's being pretty much massaged in, in this region. Let's, I hope you can see me when I say that. So like this part right here, they're kind of massaging. Uh, yeah, like that. Okay. Let's see if we can get any more information for you. Wonder what I mean he didn't maybe he tweaked it somewhere he didn't fall or he, or anything or like land on it so I I don't think anything like that oh it looks like they're wrapping him up now so this guy's taping his right wrist tape 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 the entire wrist has gone around like what five six times and, oh okay so they put a layer like a thin layer so like. Then they the, the, then they can put actual tape on, so it's not taped directly to his skin. Hachana, very focused. He's just looking forward, drinking some water. Sometimes you don't want to get, you know, you don't want to poke your head over and see what's going on. You don't want too much information. You don't want to feel bad for the guy or, or, or whatnot. So it's officially a medical timeout right now. So, Imtiaj Muhammad Ikram says, who injuries? So, right now, it looks like Korda is, uh, it's uh, Sebastian Korda, his right wrist is uh, being taped up. This is like the fourth layer of stuff they're putting on. Now, he's kind of flexing it. I feel like that would be really uh, a hindrance, you know? In hockey, I've had that before where they tape your wrist and you... You don't have the same mobility. Now he's putting his his sweatband over it and picking up his racket, and we're good to go. Okay, so four minutes, 20 seconds since the last point. We are back. Hachanov serving on serve 2-3 in the second set. And the Russian is up one set to love. All right. First serve is a let. Thanks for bearing with us, y'all. Sebastian Carter. All right. All right. First serve, or sorry, second serve out wide is good. And the return is wide from Corda. 15 love. Okay, Hachanov serve into the net. Second serve coming up. Serve is good. Forehand is out on the return from Korda. So, does not look super comfortable. He's only hit two balls so far. Does not look super comfortable to me right now, does Corda? I wonder if that taping is restricting some motion for him. But it's probably necessary or else he wouldn't have it on there. And you got to serve plus one for Hachanov. 40 love there. And it looks like he's about to cruise here to a game to love. And it's an ace. All right. Three all here. Yeah. Okay. 
52 likes. Yes, please do give us a like, give us a subscribe, give us a share, drop a comment. Um, and if you want to help us out um, in any other way, we have Patreon, PayPal, and all that stuff. Thank you all for joining me on the stream. So far, we've got a pretty good match here. Hachanov is looking like he is the sharper of the two. Now, Korda's at the net. Hachanov lobs it, and Korda with an overhead put away. And there you go. 15 love. Start off game number seven in set number two. Katie is saying bye. Katie, thank you for joining us. Hopefully, you'll join us again in the future. And um, have a great one. Cheers. Oh, Hachanov's putting his hands over his head like, what is going on? Okay, first serve is a let. Second serve now coming up from Korda. Serve up the middle and unreturned. So, 30 love for Korda. All right, so now on his serve here, the the wrist is looking a little bit better now. And those couple points on the Hachanov service game weren't so hot. And a nice another serve comes back unreturned. Uh, so 40 love, nice little game here, especially after um, after that little medical timeout. Faraz Ansari is asking, how is Korda playing now? He's playing all right. He just had his right wrist taped up. He had some issue. I don't know exactly what happened, but he, they put some tape on it. And right now he's serving and he's up 40 love. So his wrist is looking a little bit better. And other than that, we're just on serve. Oh, forehand is long. So now 40, 15 here. So I'd say he's playing all right. He's playing all right. If you're asking me who's playing better overall this match, I'm going to say Hachanov. Uh, by a by a little bit, but um, by no means is it like out of reach or anything for Corda. Obviously, he's tied here in the second set. Tries to go up the tee, but that's long. So second serve at forty fifteen coming up. What will Hachanov do with it? Oh, he doesn't need to do anything. It was a double fault. So forty thirty, still one game point here for Corda. If not. Could, could be a little pressurized all of a sudden from 40 love, but let's see. Man, Radek Stepanek, the coach of uh, Korda, is so positive. He's so uh, every point standing up, looking him in the eye and saying, let's go. Got to love it. Ah, uh, forehand, uh, sorry, backhand from Korda off the return looked really lazy, and he just hit it in the middle of the net. So we went from 40 love to deuce now. And a little scary potential moment here for Korda. I wonder what is up with his wrist. So the first couple of points after he, he had the wrist taped up looked a little unnatural. But then he, was, he looked fine uh, again. And now the wrist isn't looking bad. But I'm wondering if it has an effect because he's not looking good these last three points. Kick serve there at Deuce from second serve. We got a forehand battle going on. Forehand Korda, forehand Hachanov, backhand Korda, backhand Hachanov. Forehand Korda is the way long. Definitely, it definitely is looking a little bit weird now, just in the last minute or so. Before that, he was looking okay. Um, now we got a break point, and this is a pretty big, this could be a very big moment in the match, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Gene with some in nice info. Yeah, Radek Stepanek is the former coach of Djokovic, by the way. Yes, he is. That is true facts right there. Thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, we got a battle here going on up the middle. We got a backhand Korda. Ah! into the net and again very listless backhand hits it into the middle of the net and it looks i'm fearing an injury here folks i hope not but it might be uh oh so there's a break 
from Love 40 Down as well. Okay. Faraz Ansari, the odds on bookies went so much down on Corda. Looks like the injury is real. Ah. Uh, yeah, Radic Stefanik, he is called the worm. That was his nickname. I was I like that nickname. I also like the mosquito for JC Ferrero. Um, yeah, it's pretty some pretty good nicknames. King of Just in the house. What's up, Covey and everyone? Nice to have you, King of Just. Uh Gene saying the same thing. And then hey, reciprocation all around. Um, as as King says, hey, Gene. Um, oh, no, five consecutive errors. Yeah, I'm starting to think that this is not a good look. This could be bad. Um, what's going on here? Oh, okay. The stream sometimes just goes blank and quiet. And I'm like, did it die? And then sometimes there's commercials. I don't get it. But, hey, ESPN Plus... At least we got you through the VPN. Okay, Hachanov serving. So Korda is still playing. Um, his girlfriend looking very concerned. They just did a close-up of her. All right, second serve coming up for Hachanov. And backhand to forehand Korda. Backhand Hachanov. Forehand Korda. Forehand Hachanov. Forehand Korda. Backhand Hachanov. Backhand slice Korda. Uh, it actually wasn't a slice. It was a it was an attempt at a drop shot, but didn't make it over the net. So the energy from Corda right now is not very positive. He prides himself on keeping negativity out of his mind, but I wonder if this hindrance from his wrist is kind of making him feel. Not so good as Hachanov can't handle the return from Korda, and it's now 15 all on the Hachanov serve. He's up a break, serving at 4 3 in the second set. Charles saying five consecutive errors sounds more mental than physical. Yeah, but it's the way he's like, he's hitting him like into the middle of the net, like not even getting close to the top. Like I'm talking like halfway up the net. He had two backhands like that. Um, I I just wonder. Um, but let's see. Let's see. All right. So we got a backhand now. Rally going. Backhand Korda. Backhand Hachanov. Forehand Korda. Forehand Hachanov. Forehand Korda. Forehand Hachanov is long. So Korda with a little bit of daylight for a potential break back at 1530 on Hachanov serve. And Gene says it does, I think, in regards to this. Yeah, the way, I mean, the way I'm seeing it is I don't know if it's mental. I feel like it's I feel like it's mental because of the chain reaction from the physical. Anyways, we'll see. We'll see. Arnaz, hey, in India, Covey means poet. That's very true. Actually, someone from India uh, earlier in this stream asked me if I know what my name means. And I told them it means poet. All right, backhand return from Korda. And another backhand from Korda, this time into the top of the net. And 30 all. So normally a very, very, very reliable backhand. Korda's got one of the best backhands on the planet. And uh, yeah, he's, he's had a few here errors. Yeah, nice backhand return there off the serve. And Hachanov's forehand off that is long. So we've got a break point. So even though he's not looking so hot and uh, his energy isn't so hot, uh, Korda has a chance here to break right back. Okay, here we go. 30-40. Serve up the tee is a good one, and Korda can't handle that. Hits into the net, and great save by Hachanov. That's normally what you hear in hockey. Great save, Hachanov. Um, big, 
Yeah, after the point, Corda is grimacing pretty big there. All right, forehand, first serve out wide, forehand Corda is long. So from facing a break point to now game point for Hachanov. And Faraz says, you think Corda was carrying an injury? The media didn't know. Uh, I feel like something happened in the last like half an hour in this match to tweak. Uh, like, I don't think he was injured before the match. I think what happened was during the match, something happened to his wrist because something is off. This guy is too clean of a ball striker um, for that. Now we got a forehand to backhand from Hachanov into the net. So Korda still alive. It's Deuce um, still alive in this game, though. And Charles Cross says, agreed, Cub. Nice. Cheers, my friend. Um, returns made. Yeah. I think Hachanov... Could really... this, Like I said, could be a big moment in this match. If he could consolidate that break... But we have a second serve here at Deuce. Serve is good. Backhand return. Forehand Hachanov. Forehand Korda. Forehand Hachanov up the line is long. So another break point opportunity for Korda. Second of the game. Will Hachanov just pulverize another ace like he has been doing? My guess is he's going up the tee. Anyone else want to make a guess? Throw it in the comments. Let me know what you think. 56 likes. Woo. Oh, serve was out wide. And the backhand chip was uh, long. So back to Deuce. Nice serve. The, the, the last couple times he went up the tee. So I thought, okay, he's going gonna to go with what works. But I think this time he tried to fool with the Corda. So good, good mind games here on serve. I love it. I love the high IQ stuff. All right. First serve is long at deuce. And this is deuce number three. Second serve coming up. Balls up. Serve is good. Backhand return up the middle. Forehand Hachanov. Backhand Korda. Backhand Hachanov. Backhand Korda up the line. Forehand Hachanov. Forehand Korda. Forehand Hachanov. Forehand Korda is wide. So another game point for the Russian. So Charles saying, if Korda gets this game, expect his body language to change. Yeah, I would for sure. I mean, to, to be not feeling it and get a break against a big server. Um, yeah, for sure. That could be. Uh, good, but he still has got to do it. We've got Hachanov has the advantage here, so he has a lot of work to do to do that. All right, first serve here at the advantage is an ace up the tee. Beautiful. Hachanov is automatic right now, and he takes a 5-3 to three lead. Pretty commanding here. Let's give him some love. Karim, 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 Hachanov. Yeah. Let's see. After that last shot, uh, the, his last shot of that last game, he kind of shook out his wrist. All right. So Korda now serving at 3-5. Nice serve. Now Hachana with a drop shot. Uh, Korda comes in, tries to redrop, but doesn't get it over the net. Love 15 real quick here. Gene says a uh, nice button. Yeah, I love the graphics. Didn't know uh, Korda, uh, Hachanov could twerk like that. Nature saying Korda might be broken twice here. Yeah, let's see. All right, here's Korda. Love 15 first serve. Nice serve. Block back return. Now Korda comes to the net, but Hachanov passes him with a forehand. Beautiful. And you can feel a little bit of uh, Hachanov smelling the blood in the water. Yeah, you need to... 
See, it was a short ball off the Hachanov return. So that's why Korda went in. But you got to pull someone out wider or have a better approach shot before you come into the net. He just, he kind of put it like just a little bit up the middle. Um, nothing special. Very slow first serve. 176. And then a volley from Korda is long. So he is looking out of sorts. And we got triple set point. For Hachanov, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Something is wrong with Korda. Definitely. Um, calling it right now. Definitely. Something going on. It's his right wrist. He's not. He just hasn't been the same in the last 20 minutes. All right. So, love 40 now. Korda needs points to stay in this set. Desperate. No room for error now. Nice serve out wide, and then he steps in with a plus one cross court. Hachanov gets that back. Oh my god, it was long, but it was all it looked like it actually dropped. Wow. Even the stadium, there was a like, ooh, there's just a running forehand, just desperation. And it was yeah, it was about two, three inches long. But wow, that would have been a devastating, <laughs> devastating way to lose um lose a set there. All right, two more break, uh, break slash set points for Hachanov. Nice serve up the tee. Backhand return. Now we got a backhand slice from Korda. Forehand Hachanov. Forehand squash from Korda. And then a winner cross court from Hachanov. And there you have it. 7 6 6 3. And he's up to love right now. He's up to love. Um, yeah. So. Let's, um, we got a comment here real quick from Injury Spanish, please. Um, uh, Deanira, injury is esta aquí. Uh, esta aquí. Uh, pro, la, la problema es uh, aquí. So it's a wrist injury. Hopefully that helps. Um, I lost so much on Corda today. Uh-oh. Yeah, gambling, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. All right, I'm not sure what's going on with Corda, but we're going to take a quick little break here because I just need to get myself a refreshment and refresh myself um, as well. So we'll see you guys in just a few seconds, or in, in just like a couple of minutes, we'll be back right for the beginning of the third set. There should be no special rules for Novak Djokovic at all. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we are for something groundbreaking. Some might call it trial of the century. Some might call it trial of all time. We did not expect to be covering the first Djokovic watch along of the year. And he's not playing up an opponent. He's playing him against the state. Shout out to everyone joining us. Of course, we've never had so many people in the live chat. I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to bring all 23,000 of you up to date with what's happened so far. I did not think by the third that Ben would be rooting for Rafa and JG would be wishing it's all over. Yeah, a bit weird. I mean, I just want the pain to end. I don't even care if he's crawling on his knees and hitting the ball over the net by the fifth. If he gets there, it'll be incredible. I'm just calling it as it is. I'm trying to be objective watching the match and he's lost the match. What do you want me to do? He hasn't lost it. He's still in it. Why do you keep saying he's lost it? You think, okay, put a bet on then. What odds would you get on Rafa? Two sets down. Eights. Stick a bet on. Seeing as he's not out. I'm just disappointed you're not uh, supporting your man. No, you're being delusional, Ben. Just grow not up. Supporting your so man. Not, not, su not supporting your man. Come on, you guys. What are you doing? I feel like I'm rallying for all of the Rafa fans out there now. Crazy. Yeah, because you just need to grow up, mate. Like, be realistic. I've watched tennis many times. I've seen comebacks many times. Okay. You see Medford ever lose from this position? Don't think so. But anything can happen. It's so good! We it! <laughs> Rafael Nadal has won his 21st Grand Slam. He's beaten Daniel Medvedev 7-5 in the fifth set. It's just been an absolute epic occasion. I can't believe he's done it. Rafa on the down. What? Second time Australian Open champion. Vamos! Oh. He's down the line! Oh. He's down the line! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alcaraz has won. He is in the final. Time James here. He has done it. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz beats Novak Djokovic in the Madrid semi-finals. I've never quite seen anything quite like this. Because and she doesn't the... need them. She doesn't need them. She falls to the floor. Iga Swiatek has won another Grand Slam. Amazing. Look at the emotion Come all on. over her face. Yes, they go. embrace at the net. <laughs> wow. Oh, Maricuic hits the forehand down the line. Oh my gosh! And we have match point, ladies and gentlemen. John, going to that podcast. When you say you were confused about your tactics, what do you mean? It's into the net. Hello, y'all. We are back. Thank you for bearing with me. <clears throat> Had to freshen up and refresh. Um, also, I got myself Coca Cola. Ah. <sighs> All right, here we go. Hachanov now serving. And he's up 15 love, and he just won a backhand cross-court rally. And he's up 30 love here to kick off the third set. So, let's see. I'm very curious. So, Korda didn't retire, obviously, and uh, they didn't have any update during the changeover. So, very curious to see what's going on with the health. Uh, Deanira, no retiro. No, still playing. Ratan Rajkumar says, one more set for the Russian. Balas Rohrbeck says, will Korda win the third? What do you think? I, I, so I chose Korda to win this match in four sets. Right now, I just don't see it. Um, Hachanov is on. Korda looks discomfort, uh, like he has discomfort in his wrist. Pachanov there with a game to love as well. Real quick, I'll get back to that in one second. But game to love to open this set. Mm hmm. So. They're showing the medical timeout. They're showing the wrapping, but they're not mentioning any update. So I guess nothing in between sets has given us new information. Yeah, I think he's just going to play it out. I don't think he's fully healthy, though. Gene, Corda went to the toilet, right? I am honestly not sure I did the same. I did what you're asking. So I had to quickly run and come back. So I didn't actually check, but I don't think so. I feel like it would have taken a little longer. Usually it takes them three, four minutes. They were back within like two and a half. Okay. So we got a forehand to forehand battle going. Now Corda with a, wow, he tries to go up the line. And he, sh God, he shanked that one. It's just not looking good right now at all for Korda. Ah! Man giving us a weather update. Hard raining in Melbourne Park right now. Heard? You're hearing rain or it's hard? I'm pretty sure it's hard. Can Hachanov stock Djokovic? The problem with Hachanov is he's never been been able to really beat like top 10 players and Djokovic is the top oneiest of all the oneiest players in the last decade so or at least half a year uh, decade so um Gene <laughs> Gene's response no uh I agree I don't think that Hachanov can do it um Djokovic just has played him so many times and he knows how to play all the different styles. He knows how to play the big servers. He knows how to play the good, great returners, the Andy Murrays, you know, these guys. He, he just, he's got the playbook in his, for everyone. And uh, he's already used it on Hachanov several times, I believe. 
Okay, Corda with the second serve here at love 40. So triple break point now. Hachanov, uh, like I said, Corda's not looking that great. But forehand to forehand now. Forehand is wide from Corda. And yeah, his timing isn't great. His range isn't great. And he is just, uh, yeah, he just got broken to love. All right, y'all. It could be a short set here. Uh, unfortunate, but yeah, the injury I think is affecting. Ah, uh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Uh, the uh, the crowd is uh, the crowd is on his side though. They want to see him at least extend this a set or two. And Hachanov makes his way to the net forehand volley. Uh, Korda actually has a chance on it, but he rips that one wide cross court. So Hachana with a 15 love lead. Oh, great stat here from Gene, and, and thank you. Uh Hachana of 29 and 0 after winning the first two sets in Grand Slam. So he's not blown a two-set lead in his career. Very impressive. All right, here's a second serve. At 15 love, now we got a forehand Korda, forehand Hachanov, forehand Korda, forehand Hachanov, backhand Korda, backhand slice Hachanov, backhand Korda up the line, forehand Hachanov, forehand Korda, forehand Hachanov, forehand Korda, forehand Hachanov, it's blocked back this time. Now a forehand long from Korda, so 30 love. Yeah, um, and not only is the range of Korda off, the Hachanov range is on. Um, so here in the third set, we have 10 straight points to start the set for Hachanov right now. He has not lost a single point in two and a half games. So, yeah, too bad. All right, serve is good. Forehand return is deep. It's a nice one. And then a backhand slice from Korda. Uh, now forehand Hachanov into the net. So Sebastian Korda gets his first point in the entire set now. And it's 30-15. So 10 to 1 is the is the points count in this set. We got a question here from Adil Divan. It says, what do you all think about these tournaments not showing the Russian players flag country abbreviation on the scoreboards? I understand why they're doing it, but I, I think it's... I think it's silly. Um, you know, I don't know. I think it's silly because these players are not the country, you know. But people have said in the past that when they did apartheid uh, and people were doing the the boycotts of of South Africa, um, it it helped. It 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 helped accomplish the goal that they had of bringing in awareness and getting people not to like invest in things that, that aren't good. So I think it's silly. I mean, we're in an age now where I think a lot of people, if you like tennis, you don't care about the other stuff. You care about tennis. Obviously it would be cool if we could all like care about all this stuff. Uh, anyways, Hachanov won that game as well, by the way, with the hold. So pretty easy at game to 15. So yeah. Anyways, I think it's a little bit silly because um, we all know what the blank means. It either means Belarus and, or Russia. And for me, being a tennis fan, I know which players from Belarus and which ones from Russia. So, um, yeah, silly. That's my answer. But I can see why they're trying to do it. All right, let's give a little love to Hachanov because he's been killing it. Karim, 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 Hachanov. Yeah, Corinne Hatch and all. all right. It's doing this thing where it goes blank on me again, and then I think that it's gone. Oh, there we go. Sun Liang is saying, wow, thought this would be closer. What's happening? What is happening, Sun, is that, oh, over. It is over, Sebastian Corda. What I was going to say, Sun Liang, is uh, Sebastian Corda hurt his wrist 
uh, midway through this uh, in the second set. And now he has decided to call it quits. He's just walked over to Hachanov. He's sh shaking his hands. He just went up to the umpire, shaking their hands. So Hachanov now in to his second straight Grand Slam semifinal. Wow. That is a bummer. Um, but I think it was, uh, you knew it was coming. Um, like I said, he'd only won one point in the first three games of the set. And um, he was hitting very routine rally balls into the middle of the net on both the forehand and the backhand. So, yeah, there it is, folks. Um, hate to see it. It was a great effort and a great run by Korda. Some of the best tennis he's ever played in his life. <clears throat> Up until today, this year, he'd only lost to Djokovic in that Adelaide final, uh, which was a three-setter. And uh, yeah, so this is the only match he's lost. And he didn't even get to fully uh, play fit. So unfortunate there. And Sun Liang says, damn, ha I hate to see this happen. BJ Fresh says, Corinne lives in Dubai. Well, it looks like he's going to be heading back home pretty soon. Oh, no, what am I talking about? Corinne's the one. It's the Ks that, that messed me up, the Korda and the Karen. Uh Hachanov. So anyways, let's. Uh, I'm just going to stick around here for a few more minutes. What are we at for likes? My goal was to hit 100. We hit almost, almost, we got uh, almost 60. We got 59. Um, Alex from LA says, hardly any of these people live in Russia. You know, a lot of the a lot of pro tennis players don't live in like like Felix lives in Monaco and a few other guys do. Roger, I believe, lived in like the Dubai for a lot of the year. Um, yeah, a lot of players. And Gene over here saying so sad for Corda, followed by some crying emojis. Yeah, I agree. Bummer, absolute bummer. BJ says, "Wow, nice tournaments, uh, Sebi." So yeah, there you have it, folks. Um, Bummer. Absolute bummer. Um, good quality serving from Hachanov. Good quality overall from Hachanov. There were moments where Korda was picking it up before his wrist got tweaked. But when it was uh, when it was tweaked, he was not the same player at all. So total bummer, guys. But hey, what can you do? Um, you know, just wish him the best that he recovers fully and is able to get back um, to his winning ways as soon as possible. All right, I'll uh, stick around for a couple more minutes, check out some comments if any new ones are popping up. If not, I'm going to take a break, um, or we're going to end it up here pretty soon. We got the post-game interview. Um, so, Hachanov is saying it was unfortunate, but please give up. This is the on-court interview, I should add. He's saying, please give it up for Korda. Tough way to lose. He's happy with his level. And he's excited to be in his first Aussie Open semi. I'm just going to go over this on-court interview and then we'll call it. All right, guys? They're asking, where is your great form coming from? He's said he's reinvented himself and he's always believed in himself. And perseverance shows you what you're capable of. So the confidence from the US Open semifinals helped propel him as well. He's a great interview. He's very all right. I like this guy. Talk, now they're asking about him being a young dad and what it's like with travel and um, being a good dad while also being a traveling tennis player. He's like, you should ask my wife and my son if I'm a good dad. <laughs> he said, I wish they could travel with me more and especially now, but he's like, Australia is so far, it's too 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 far to travel that he's waving to his wife and kid that's lovely
win to Korda or Karen? The win is for Karen Hachanov. Uh, as you can see on our scoreboard here, uh, Hachanov is darker. Uh, he won 7 6 6 3 3 love, and then the, due to her retirement from Korda at love three in the third. Uh, no NP, not going to happen. He has retired from the match. It is over. Um, BJ Fresh says, good night, Covey. Good night, BJ. Thank you for joining me. And I want to thank everyone who joined me for joining me. Um, please uh, check out Covey's Corner, my daily wrap-up show after every day of uh, action at the Australian Open. Uh, we've already done eight straight days. Day nine is tomorrow. We'll do uh, some analysis. We'll go over some of the stories of the day. Um, and there you have it. So once again, thank you all. Thank you for joining, for liking, for subscribing, um, and giving us, um, the ability to keep bringing you some tennis. Um, there will be the Stefano Sitsi Pats match, uh, on the GTL network as well. So stick around for that. And, uh, other than that, have a great one guys. And it was a pleasure rocking with you. Take care. My name is Covey for the GTL tennis podcast. Mm -hmm.